Mr. President, recently I was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to host several veterans who survived the sinking of the USS Arizona during the attack on Pearl Harbor. I'd like to briefly share with you an incredible story they told me about a true American hero named Joe George. On December 7, 1941, Joe was a 26-year-old bosun mate second class aboard the repair ship USS Vestal in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. That morning, the Vestal was moored alongside the USS Arizona. At 7.48 a.m., many sailors, including Joe, had finished their breakfast when the uh, Imperial Japanese Navy Air Service attacked Pearl Harbor. As we know, the Arizona suffered a direct hit by a Japanese bomb that detonated in the ship's powder magazine. The resulting explosion sank the ship and claimed the lives of 1,177 servicemen. During the unimaginable chaos and carnage, Joe George displayed stunning composure and courage. Joe spotted six sailors trapped in the control tower of the sinking Arizona. These men were severely burned. And they were searching for a way to safety. The six wounded officers, or sailors, I'm sorry, were Seaman First Class Harold Kuhn, Seaman First Class Russell Lott, Gunner's Mate Third Class Earl Rayner, Boatswain Mate Second Class Alvin Dvorak, Seaman First Class Donald Stratton, and Fire Controlman Third Class Lauren Bruner. Upon seeing the men, Joe threw a heaving line to, from the Vestal to the Arizona to rescue the wounded sailors from the sinking ship. Suspended 40 feet in the air, the six sailors climbed 70 feet high, hand over hand, or 70 feet, hand over hand across the rope to safety aboard the Vestal. These sailors did all this while enduring injuries so severe that two would succumb to their wounds in the weeks following the attack. As they struggled across the heavy line, Joe George remained close by all the while, encouraging the men to push on. The four sailors who survived their injuries each returned to serve with honor during World War II and went on to live long lives. I spoke with two of them. and hearing about the injuries that they had, and still they were able to return to service in the Second World War was amazing. Joe George's legacy of hero heroism will remain alive forever in their children, their grandchildren and great-grandchildren of the four sailors who survived the infamous day thanks to Joe's incredible bravery and service. Joe George was never awarded a medal for his role in the rescue of the six sailors although his commanding officer commended his courageous actions. When I met with one of the Arizona survivors who was rescued by Joe, he told me, quote, Joe George was never awarded anything for his bravery. He is no longer with us, but I believe in his memory he should be awarded the Navy Cross. Lauren Bruner, Bruner was another survivor that Joe saved, and he said to me, quote, the six of us would not have survived except for his courage. In spite of being at risk himself, he fully deserves high commendations for his actions. I feel he should be recognized for this courage and presented the Navy Cross." Unquote. In his own words, during an interview in 1978, Joe said, I tell you, the only thing I can tell you about that day, my conscience was my guide. Well, his conscience was that of a hero. We need more people like Joe George in this world. That's why I'm committed to honoring Joe and why I raise to, rise today with the honor and privilege to offer a resolution honoring Joe Leon George. Joe passed away in 1996, and it is long overdue that the Senate, the United States Navy, and a grateful nation honor the heroism of bosun mate second class Joe Leon George. God bless Joe George, whose immense courage and astounding composure serves as an example for the men and women in uniform who follow in his wake. Let us never forget their heroism and service. I'd like to thank also my colleagues, Senator Gardner, Senator Lee, Senator Cotton, Senator McCaskill, and Senator Bennett from joining me on this resolution. I look forward to working with them on its swift passage. Mr. President, uh, I yield back.